Hi, YouTubers. Um, this is information about living smoke-free in your rental apartments. Um, Mark Taylor Residential is a smoking community. Um, they have been informed that they are harming people and that they are destroying people's lives. And they have specifically ignored complaints. Many people have moved from their rentals, which are extremely toxic. Um, the way that smoke gets into the other rentals and your neighbor's apartments are from the outlets, the cracks in the walls, the vents, and the piping. And of course, if people are smoking on their patios, um, that you can't leave your doors or your windows open. Um, a flyer was sent out at their community and at many other communities. And um, it starts out by asking, is your neighbor smoking killing you and your animals? In all apartments and condos, we share over 60% of our air with our neighbors. If your neighbors are smokers, you are a smoker from their secondhand smoke. Over 60,000 people die every year from secondhand smoke. Some people and animals have immediate effects. Others will not notice it until years later. Sore throats, coughing, breathing difficulties, joint pain, cancers, etc., and death. And this affects the health of your family, animals, and gives you high doctor and veterinarian bills. You can search YouTube and Google for smoke-free multi-unit housing and more. Most apartments and condos choose to allow smoking, as does Mark Taylor Residential. They give smokers the rights to smoke inside their apartments and on patios. There is no law that forces Mark Taylor to allow smoking. They choose to do this. Um, it has been noted from other uh, apartment communities that it can cost up to $15,000 to turn over a typical two-bedroom, two-bath apartment that has been smoked in to make it smoke-free. No pet has ever caused that much damage to a unit, nor are they harming other people or pets. Yet pet owners are charged pet rent, extra pet rent, and non-refundable pet fees plus refundable pet fees if there's no damage. Smokers are charged nothing for the damage and their smoke is continuously harming you, your families, and your pets. If you would like to live in smoke-free apartments and condos, please contact your management and landlord to request. The more complaints and requests they receive, the more seriously they will consider it. Over 70% of people prefer to live in smoke-free housing. Check out www.arizonasmokefreeliving.org. If you are a smoker, there is help to stop. There are Smokers Anonymous groups and more. Love yourself enough to quit. Management companies can create designated areas for smokers away from our apartments. In addition, management companies there are many that have many buildings they can create some of their buildings just for smokers so that non-smokers are not forced to live with them. They can keep everyone happy, but they choose not to. Um, if anyone is a non-smoker and they want to be healthy, they are forced to leave their apartments. You can also contact the American Lung Association in Arizona at 602-258-7505. Um, and there are many, many other organizations to help. I do understand smokers that need to smoke and they should be given places to smoke and or apartments available to smoke. But non-smokers should also have the same right. They should not be forced to live with the smoke. Please contact your landlords and management company and tell them you would prefer to live smoke-free in separate smoke-free buildings. Thank you.